So if you're watching this video, you probably want to make more money. So how can you make more money without increasing your work hours or your workload? Well, look, there's only three ways for you to grow your real estate enterprise. You know that, right? Only three. Increase transactions, increase the number of, t um, the number of times people come back and buy from you, and increase the amount of money that you make per transaction. Just those three. So join us on Tuesday at four o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Pacific. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna drill down on giving yourself a pay raise. Look, you deserve it. You're the one working really hard, uh, but let's make your really hard work pay off even bigger uh, by giving yourself a pay raise. All right, you're gonna see the top three ways to increase the amount of money that you make per sale. And I'm talking by 33%, 50% or more. Think what that would do for a minute. You spend no more time, no more money than you're, than you're investing right now. Um, you don't even increase the number of customers that you're working with, but instantly you begin to get paid 33, 50%, maybe even double the amount of money that you're making right now. See, for most real estate agents, they think that the only way to do this is by increasing the average selling price. Yeah, no, that's a norm and standard in industry, that kind of thinking. And uh, I'm gonna encourage you to see it differently. You can increase the amount of money that you make per transaction without changing the average selling price that you're operating in right now. And now you're probably like, well, how's this even possible? It's possible because you're gonna do it the complete opposite way as a majority of real estate agents do it, right? So we're gonna have to approach it from a different angle and you can do it. The top members here are famous for being paid or as uh, or being paid a lot of money. They are the highest paid real estate professionals in their respective marketplaces as a percentage of sale. They're famous for this, okay? Personally, myself, um, I've never, and I'm not exaggerating, I've never been paid less than three and a half percent uh, from buyers, never. And as a matter of fact, it was closer to 4% over the course of decades. Uh, so it didn't matter what was being offered up in MLS. Okay, it was ignored. And we set, negotiate, and collect an optimum fee. Many of you guys know about that. But did you know there are three ways to get paid from buyers on every single transaction? Uh, same with sellers. Okay, when I sold my real estate business in, I think it was April of 09, I walked out the door. The average fee was 8% that sellers were paying us. And you can't say that we didn't sell a lot of houses, top real estate agents, you know, in the marketplace. So um, how are we able to pull that off? Okay, well, let's pick it up there on uh, Tuesday at four o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Pacific. But I want you to pick it up with this thought. Cost is only a factor in the absence of value. Cost is only a factor in the absence of value. I'm a consumer, just like you're a consumer. And you know what we're looking for? Value, right? So cost becomes a major factor. So in other words, your ability to create more income and give yourself a pay raise, it ain't happening without the right value proposition for the customer, your intended prospect. So again, let's pick it up there, Tuesday, four o'clock Eastern, one o'clock Pacific, and let's go ahead and give yourself a pay raise. You deserve it. After all, it is getting what, more costly to operate today. It's getting more costly to get customers. It's getting more costly for operational costs, marketing spend, and the like. So what are you going to do here? Like, what are you going to do? If, um, if you do not increase the amount of money that you bring in per sale, you're going to go out of business. And I'm telling you that customers care less about that and care more about value. Okay? Cost becomes a factor when the value's not there. So... Right? Got it? Good. So let's pick it up there on Tuesday. Give yourself a pay raise. You'll see the top three ways to get paid more money, 33, 50% or even more per sale than you're making right now uh, without increasing your work hours and your workload. All right. Looking forward to it. Go serve big. Thanks.